2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're glad to have you with us as we kick off our coverage of this event. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. I got to say, the sun is shining, the birds are singing. What a fantastic day to be out here covering some golf. Good on you, Luke. And that's a nice strike. This one should find a fairway. Time for the second shot into the first. Getting ready to play their third. And here we are with their four. Just six feet between here and the hole. That did everything but drop. Well, that's disappointing. This putts for double. Sitting at two over for the day. Chance here to reclaim a bit of focus after that double at the last. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score in this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. This shot here from about 240 yards. Going with the eight iron here. And here we are with the third shot. Good shot there. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this putt 25 feet from the cup. Uh, a bit low on that one. Ooh. And this next putt, it's for bogey. Unfortunately, moving down the leaderboard, that's not the direction to be heading. Teeing off here at the third hole. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Going with the hybrid. Not a bad play, that one. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. That'll sting a bit. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Nice little putt to hold that one. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. The fourth at TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Luke, I gotta say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. Now fall back after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Nicely done. From around 170 yards here, four strokes off the lead. He's found the surface. Good chance here. Well, Rich, think they can make this one? Luke, I, I really don't think this is going to happen, but you know what? I've been wrong before, and it could happen again. It's a bit disappointing. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Next up is this two-shot hole. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston's a very strong one. 
If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogeys and doubles come into the equation very quickly. That putt went a bit long there. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Setting up this putt 11 feet from the cup, this is what they have left for par. Trailing by four strokes. Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee. Par five, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. Oh, well played. Second shot here on the seventh. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. Gee, it's metronomic here. Green after green. Gee, golf looks easy when you're playing like this. A oh, well holds. He'll take the birdie. He finds himself in a share of 15th position. Gotta like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Par three and a diabolical green, to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Oh, so close. A par putter waits. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Sitting at two over par. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one's going right at the pin here. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. What's in front of them, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Oh, so close. An opportunity to make a par here. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left. Pressure packed, to say the least. This one needs to kick left. That's inside the house of opportunity. A chance to move into the top ten on the leaderboard here. This one's tracking. Well, that'll play. And he'll move into the top ten. He's currently tied for sixth. Managing to chase down the leaders. Closing that gap. Got to like it. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Well, this one's going right at the flag. This putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. That was a gallant attempt. And just about eight feet left to the hole. And there it is. He's currently in a share of sixth. We've arrived at a par four hole. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. You'll need it. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Three shots off the lead. Opting for the five wood. 
That's some good golf right there. Trying to get to even par with this putt. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt, especially from that distance. But it didn't quite drop. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Par four, back up the hill, 447 yards. This is an adventure-filled par four. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Looking really good. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes for the hole the whole way. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. What an amazing putt from way out. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I've got to say, it is a difficult par four and you'd be happy to walk away with that score the 14th hole at tpc boston is a par five for the locals a converted par four for the tournament rich and it's a strong second shot down the hill second shot very narrow opening to this green if you miss it out to the right in the bunkers you have a difficult time getting it up and down out to the left you have some options parts can be made playing their fourth shot he's two shots back Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Big feet to the cup. That's pretty tidy. Well, at least it wasn't a double. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Par four, 421 yards, a seemingly simple par four. Pretty good shot there. And well, playing this one from around 120 yards out. Three strokes off the lead. Should find the green. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. A bit too much pace on that one. And the putt drops. Now one over, heading down the stretch. And just a few holes remaining. Let's see what they can produce. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. This is what they have left for a part. Sitting at one over for the day.
Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Dog Lake from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find this sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. That's nicely done. From about 130 yards here, just three strokes back. This one is right down the pipe. Playing within their comfort zone there. And this putt to move into a tie for second. Like the look of this one. Ouch, that hurts. A chance to move into the top five on the leaderboard. A good putt to make. Now oh, that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. Now three strokes back after that hole. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston could be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Nicely done. And here we are with the third shot. Three shots off the lead. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Good chance to move to even par if they can make this putt. And that putt just was never hit hard enough. Wow, shocking to say the least. And with that, this player will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.